He spent his childhood doing homework by candlelight, and when he entered university, he realized that even there, electricity issues persisted. So you have to find a way that you can create a solution for yourself. Now, thanks to his invention, the entire university can use solar charging stations, and the young man receives many calls from people eager to help. Most places in Nigeria right now do have access to, to lights. Even if they have access to light, there is no 24 hours light in Nigeria. Will the young man be able to find investors for his invention? We have been affected with the issue of this electricity challenge for more than a decade. For me getting admission into the university and studying and engineering course has instilled a passion in me that I'm going to solve this issue of lack of electricity. Because growing up, I could notice this lack of electricity has affected a lot of people. A lot of business are fold up. Many people have been handicapped. They don't have what to do again because as you know that electricity is the major drive of economy. That was why I invented a solar power station that has addressed the issue. And I'm still doing more research on a way to improve its efficiency so that we spread the tentacles of this my innovation to every part of the country. Going up, I will have a lot of assignments. I will have to resort to, to using a candle to do my assignment. The smoke from the country and there's this one thing that we call poofing while growing up in our rural community. It, it is to light up the environment. So the smoke from all these things really affected me. Look, if I have the opportunity to get in, into the university and I'm able to study engineering course, which is electrical and computer engineering that I'm studying, that I would change the scenario. So that was why I came up with the idea and I built a project that is addressing this issue of lack of electricity. Power State University has the best infrastructures for engineering courses in Nigeria. Most of the courses that are not, are not being taught in major universities in Nigeria have been taught there. And we have a lot of mentors, a lot of machineries that can aid our teaching as a student. So that was why I, I am pursuing my my course at Kara State University. All of our course in, in our departments, we have practical for them. And there is no course in engineering that is not, so, that is not solving a problem in, in one aspect or the other. So the practical knowledge we have gained in our course has still a sense of invention in it. There is no issue when we have a problem. So, but if the problem can be solved within the space of time, but I noticed this problem kept on regenerating. Instead of it to be solved, it was not solved and it was there. And this issue was affecting me. So that was why I came up with the idea. I draft out a prototype plan and I was able to develop it because it was affecting me in one way or the other. And I needed to solve it. The, the problem. If you keep waiting on government, it will be affecting one way or the other. So you have to find a way that you can create a solution for yourself. My power station comprises of a battery management system, PMS. It's a microcontroller. Or it is the brain box of the power station. It controls all the technicalities in the solar power station. So my power station has a battery storage system where a lot of charge are stored. It can be charged through normal light, which is direct electricity, and it can be charged through solar panel. Well, the innovative part of my own solar panel is that even as we all know that it is raining right now in Nigeria, and it might affect solar power station not to draw charge in order to charge the power station. But my own solar panel is different. Even as the atmosphere is a little bit not clear, it still attracts charge. My solar power station has the ability to charge phone and other electrical gadgets. So I'm improving the efficiency so that it can be able to charge other heavy electrical gadgets. If you want to build anything, you have to come up with the idea that a prototype is like an imaginary something, something that is not in, in existence, but how it will be when you are virtually put it. So, Firstly, in engineering, you have to come up with the prototype on how it should become after you invented it. It took me a month because it should take me more than that. But we have been taught a lot of things that we enhance our, our engineering skills in our school. So that was what helped me. Within a month, I'm able to build this solar power station. I did not see money to implement my plan so fast. And there were a lot of fake materials in the market. The materials I should buy some months ago because I had not seen 
demand to buy that one. When I want them to buy it, following moment, it has increased. So I've been receiving calls, messages from a lot of department and faculty members for that. I should help them build this thing, and it has been really good. So, because it has addressed the issue. Unless you want to lie to yourself, most places in Nigeria right now don't have access to, to light. Even if they have access to light, there is no 24 hours light in Nigeria. So it has really impacted and has affected my university community. The success story of Benny Innovator is for his end users or his customers to be able to use their product very well. And so far, those people that have used my solar power station, they are testifying that it served them well. These grants will help me to purchase a machine that will enhance building this solar power station so far, so that I will be able to deliver to people on time. And this machine has not been in existence. It will be our joy if we can be enjoying it 24 hours right in Nigeria. We are engineering students, if we can see government support and international people support, we are going to address this issue of lack of electricity. So my long-term goal is for the lack of of electricity in Nigeria, the issue to challenges for it to be addressed forever. I seek collaboration from the federal government and from international companies, companies in China, in Japan, in America. I need their support. When they collaborate with me, my project spreading towards Nigeria won't be a challenge. My advice to them is that don't give up. You put your trust in God. When you have God, everything will come. Just keep doing what you are doing. If I can see some training in abroad, it will help me enhance my innovative skill and I will be able to build a lot of things that will benefit us in Nigeria. Like there are a lot of training in China, in America, because these are the technology of, of the world. If I can see some trainings here, I will be able to build more innovative technology that will solve most of our problems in Asia. I'm now in funded level because I'll be doing my CWS, that's my industrial training. And I need the help of people so that I can see where I will be trained more. I'm studying electrical and computer engineering. There are a lot of companies in Nigeria. There is NMPC, there is Chevron because they have this capacity that can help students. And I seek international people's support, people that are in the diaspora, in China, in Japan, because I need this training. So this will enhance my knowledge more to build more innovative projects and technology for us.